Wow, hi friends. So coming at you from San Diego, big life changes. Um, I realize I haven't vlogged since March um, and then I put like maybe two videos up since then. Life has been crazy, my job's been crazy, but I figured if you wanted to see what I've been up to for the past six to eight weeks, this is the vlog for you. I did kind of explain my situation in my live. So if you wanted to watch me and Joey's live stream, you don't have to watch the full two hours, but we did have a good time. Um, that is in the live section of my channel. The background music on that is kind of loud. So no worries if you cannot concentrate when you watch it. But um, long story short, um, we went to Florida for my mom's birthday in March. Um, it was her 60th birthday, so she wanted everyone to dress 1963. Everyone else came as hippies. I did Jackie O, little wig, little hat, big head, so the hat came off pretty quickly. Um, we had a great time, but I was gonna vlog them, but I was like, you know, there's a lot going on, family time. Then I got back, and April was probably my worst month professionally, maybe ever. Um, I'm an accountant with two jobs, so it was quarter end close, month end close, and tax season all in the same week, well end of tax season, if you know what I mean. Pretty much all in that clump of like 10 working days. So I was like waking up at 6 a.m. to work, um, working till like 11 p.m., going to work on Saturday and Sunday, like it never ended. And also the work I was doing for my real job, I do payroll and stuff and we switched systems. So like it's hard enough to do and then the fact that like everything is new and nothing's really adding up, that was hard, so like, I was truly burnt out. So the thought of picking up a camera was just like not happening. Um, and then my depression manifests in unmotivation, I guess. So even when I did have free time, cause I was shopping and like getting things from brands, I just did not want to film. Like my brain completely shut off. Then we get into May and every weekend in May I had something to do. Most of it was with my mom and her coworkers. Like my mom's a nurse, so there we had like, the March of Dimes, a nurse fun run, um, a nurse fun raiser. Like we were doing something every weekend. Also two very close family friends died within a month of each other. So like, again, I'm not gonna go to a wake and then pick up a camera. Just not something I would do. So life was crazy. Everything was going on. Everything was happening. So like in my head, I was like, why would I, why would I pick up a camera? But I miss it, I truly miss it. Like I said, I'm in San Diego right now and last night I watched old vlogs of mine till like 2 a.m. So I truly miss vlogging, if not for anyone else, but for me to look back on my life. So yeah, elephant in the room, I'm in San Diego. Um, my work is here, I had a work conference um, June 13th, so they flew me out and I was like, I wanted to stay like two weeks and have like a, a nice, break, I guess, um, while still working here. And then my brother, he's like, I signed my lease till August, but I'm gonna go to New Jersey. You can just like stay here. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I will be here till August, having a hot girl summer. JK, I sit on the couch most days, but I'm trying to be an adult. So follow my adventures, we'll see. Actually, I haven't really been vlogging much either now, but I will. So we're gonna get this one up. So get caught up in my life. Leading up to camp, going to camp, the works. I had a great time at camp and I want a crown. So um, yeah, that's where I've been. Here's where I am. I missed you guys. I hope more than three people missed me. <laughs> I look like I'm gonna rob a 7-Eleven. Uh, I look like a potato. <laughs> Actually, I do think it's the same. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Wow. I'm on Broadway. I'm the only bitch serving cunt here. <laughs> Courtney's my wig master. Getting ready to be Jackie O. We're getting there. A nice little side bang. It's cute. It's serving. <laughs> so I have my little hat. We're going to put on the back. Actually, when I push it down, it kind of fits, but we'll pin it. And then I have two jacket options. All right, finished product. Just keep all of us together somehow, some way. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Make a wish! Woo! Good morning. So after a night of not being able to fall asleep till probably 2 in the morning, my body woke me up at 6.30 
bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Why am I a little off kilter? The, the lighting is so bad. Anyways, I figured I'd use being so awake in the morning to my advantage. I've been meaning to go to Target for weeks. There's a lot of things I've been meaning to do for weeks. I just have no motivation. Um, so absolutely thrilling content here. So I don't need anything crazy. I did make a list. I just need a planner and a hairbrush. We'll see what I walk out with, but that's what I'm going in for. Um, I did put on a light face. I have no intentions of showering today, but we have a staff-wide meeting, and if you're in San Diego, you have to be in office, and if you're at home, you have to be on camera, so a little light face. Um, I know it's because they're announcing back to office, and I'm not even, like, near an office, and I was mad about it. Um... So my whole team, there's only three of us, but we're still remote. There's a good amount of remote employees, but they're like, if you live in San Diego County, you have to come in one day a week, um, which I wouldn't mind once I move. But the one day I visited my office when I was in San Diego, parking was $30. So even at one day a week for a month, that's an extra $120 from my budget. I'm about to spend that on dumb shit at Target, but like, Inflation is already killing most of us. I really don't have, you know, the extra 120 to spare, especially once I'm in California, I will be poor. So I'm a little miffed, even though this barely affects me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get through today. Tomorrow's gonna be a fun day. Me and Keith are going to the Britney Spears Broadway show. So tomorrow will be fun. I just gotta get through today. Okay, $86 later, but I did get what I needed, and why not have a little Target car haul? Um, my mom is a nurse, and they're doing this big event this week, and last weekend we hit up the dollar store looking for foam poster board. I need one for my camp costume, so I grabbed it, and I texted her going, they have them at Target, do you need one? And I knew, I knew the second I left, I would get that text, and it just came through. I'm not walking 10 steps again and getting it. No, not happening. Um, but I did get my poster board and I did get the hairbrush. I did get the planner and then a bunch of extra stuff. Okay. First up the planner. I got mine at Target last year. It's one of those July to July. So this is a 23 to 24. Um, they didn't have a wide selection. Mine from last year is really cute, like watercolor. Um, so I just got a lavender. However, there's like stains all over this. This looks like you know, someone spilled a soda near it and all the purple ones had the stain. And I was like, well, this is the best out of the options. Also, I didn't check the price. I thought it was gonna be 10 bucks. I was 17, but I truly use a pen and paper planner every day. So it's going to get used, but I wish, you know, it didn't have stains on it, but I'm already planning up until the summer. So I need the July and onward. So got that. It's the same brand as my old one, but I wish they had a fun design. Then I got some Quest protein chips. I see everyone eating these, so I wanted to try some. Um, I got the nacho cheese flavor. Reese's Thins. These have been like my go-to after dinner snack. Kind dark chocolate clusters. These have 10 grams of protein. I've been doing like a little half a cup of this or whatever the serving size is. And then the Fairlife chocolate milk on top. And that's also a really good dessert. If you're like tracking protein or whatever. <sighs> a wet brush. I have, must have like a gremlin in my house. All of my hairbrushes go missing. Not just like breaking or whatever missing so i got another hairbrush i'm sure you've seen the rachel kirkconnell um pepper and cucumber salad you know recipe on tiktok i tried it a couple weeks ago with a different um ginger dressing because i couldn't find this one and it was good with that so with the real one we're gonna try the real one soon because i ate all my cucumbers um i got a little thing of queso um, I've been getting the Factor 75 boxes and one of the, my go-to meals I keep ordering from them is like a queso chicken and I'm like, I could just make this at home. So got one step of that. Okay. Finally, well not finally, there's two things. So I got two cans of Celsius. I haven't had one of these in a full year, but I did like them when I drank them. Um, I'm just cheap. Um, this time last year, Cycle Bar was just like giving them out. So I got really good workouts with these. So I got two, um, but not like a whole pack of them. And then this is what I pretty much came to Target for. Um, Poppy. I've never had it, 
my sister recommended it to me because I have digestive issues. Hot girls have digestive issues. So Courtney recommended Poppy to me. It's like a probiotic, prebiotic, something. Good for gut health. I gotta get things moving. So I got the cherry limeade and then the raspberry rose flavor. So we'll try those. I will try anything at this point. So yeah, I got what I needed. It's been a lot of dumb snacky stuff. I knew that would happen. Part of me is like, do I run back and get the poster board for my mom? I'll probably do it. Ugh. I was like, oh, once again, I've got the bad lighting, but I think this is actually kind of good lighting. So it is Thursday. I've pulled myself together. We're gonna go see Once Upon a One More Time, the Britney Spears musical. No, there's that bad light. Give me a little Homer Simpson goatee. I had a very cute Britney-esque dress in mind, but it's about 60 degrees, so it's a little chilly and it's gonna be even colder when I get out of the theater. So I went for this denim dress from Walmart. I got it like a year ago, but I figured very Britney Justin denim dress era, a little homage to that. I did my Britney pigtails. I actually do these every day. So, you know, I'm fitting in with a the theme. Me and Keith were like, should we be bad girls and drink? Let's get little airplane bottles. And I didn't have time to go to the store. So I searched my sock drawer. Um, this is from Easter 2021. Um, so this is Romana Sabica. I have no idea what this even is. I hope it's vodka. I have some uh, Diet Cokes in the back of my car. So I'm going to surprise Keith with a Diet Coke. Um, but yeah, this is what I got. Um, I get in around 645. I think Keith does too. And the show starts at eight. So we do have time to do something. I didn't eat dinner. There's definitely not time to like absolutely plow our faces, but like maybe a little snack. So we'll see. Um, I did look up the run time though. And I don't think I'm getting back into New Jersey till like 2am because I usually wait when I see a show, I get the 1106 back to Jersey and I'm home around midnight. Um, this show will get out around 1045. And although I could haul ass and get there by 1006, uh, 1106, I just don't think it's in the cards today. So I will have to take one a full hour later. It's, it's going to be a mess, but luckily I have nothing going on tomorrow except for work at 11. So it'll be a long night for me, but it, it'll be fun. I have been going absolutely buck wild with my credit card and today is going to be no exception because I was looking at the merch and they have a tote bag that says it's Broadway bitch and like that is perfect for me I always have a little um tote or I usually bring like a little I have a Abercrombie bag yeah that's what I'm gonna use today um I always try and bring a little bag because my purse is kind of tiny perfect for every day but I do need a little bit of a bigger purse for going out you know um and going to like my work meeting so I'm on the hunt for a larger purse but when I go to a show I always bring a sheet protector and I put it in like a little bag and I also always buy a souvenir cup if they have one so it's nice to put those things in a separate bag because it's not fitting in here. Um, so the tote will be perfect and then I can use that at other shows and for the rest of my life. So off the bat, I know I'm spending another $30 between the tote and the soda. Um, and who knows if I get hosed on the train from this one tiny airplane bottle, maybe I won't get a soda. Maybe I'll actually get a fun drink at the theater. Anything can happen. So I do feel like I'm forgetting something, but I have my glasses. I have all my stuff. I'm gonna grab some Diet Cokes out of the back. I'm gonna grab my uh, Abercrombie bag that I've been using in lieu of a tote bag. So this will be the last time I've been using that. And we'll head into the city. I'll probably get a cookie too. Let's be real. Speaking of cookies, um, sometimes I truly don't feel like I'm influencing anyone to do anything, but someone did message me and she's like, I saw Shocked, I went to Smackery's and I got Lost Tacos number one. And that is like my typical New York Broadway day. So I'm like, okay, I at least influenced one person and I bet you had the best day. Whatever this airplane bottle was such a bad idea. It tastes like licorice, but I'm gonna suffer through it. <laughs> don't you know, fuck it up. Fuck it up. <laughs> Baby. Mm, dry nuggy, yeah. You want it? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh my god. Why are you fogging in here? I think they're gonna do some fog elements. I'm doing a pan shot. It's gonna come to you. Mmm. All right, it's 5.30. I just got out of bed maybe two hours ago. It's one of those gross Saturdays where you're like, 
why bother getting out of bed? I did have plans to go to work and go for a long walk. It's not gonna happen today. So I have about an hour to return some shorts at Torrid, probably go to Panera, your girl's gotta eat. Um, and then I'm going to Montclair to see Jim Norton, a comedian. Honestly, I haven't really watched any clips of him in a while. I just remember him from last comic standing in probably 2005. And I've been following him on Twitter, you know, for a while. Um, and he hasn't said anything too off color. So I was like, okay, I'll go see him. And the last time I was in Montclair was 2019 for Ali and AJ. So that night I remember I was hauling ass from spin class. Today I can like leisurely drive in, find parking, the works. And I have a seat at this theater. Like you don't have to like stand or like general admission or most comedy clubs are like randomly, they'll sit you with other people. This is a theater. I get to sit. I don't have to talk to anyone. So should be a chill night. Okay, the deeds are done. I got a kitchen sink cookie because I wanted one on my birthday and I didn't have any. And I think the last time I was at Panera it was my birthday. So finally got my kitchen sink cookie. I also got my bag of chips to go. Um, so I'm sitting there eating alone as I usually do. And I hear Shannon Miller. It was Kim from Spin Class, who I always say is the most positive person you'll ever meet. Um, and I knew she worked, she said she had a second job at Panera. I didn't know it was this Panera. Cause she's like, you should have texted me. I would have given you my discount. I'm like, I didn't know it was this Panera. Now I do. So you'll be seeing a lot more of me cause I am addicted to this green drink. Um, but it was good to see her. I do feel bad. Like she works a couple jobs. I work a couple jobs. My cousin works a couple jobs. Like it really sucks that like people have to work a few jobs just to keep like the status quo going on really annoying, especially like her and Caitlin are educators. Like we should pay our teachers more. So we're all out there hustling. I was like, I'd return those shorts. I got $30 back. And then I spent like 15 at Panera. I'm like, was it even worth it to do this? Kind of. I was also thinking before Kim saw me, I know Panera is like tip the staff and I always do. But then I saw something recently. I forget if it was on Reddit or a Facebook group. And someone was like, I work at Panera and that tip the staff doesn't go to us. And I was wondering about that. So I was like, oh, I wish I knew someone who could verify this. And now I can ask him. So we will see if it goes to the workers, which I would hope it does, or if it just goes to Panera corporate, you know? So I'd like to find out. Okay, so I'm doing good on time. I did look at Montclair's parking policy. Apparently after 7 p.m. there's no meters and I should be pulling up like 6.45, so I'm gonna risk it. Um, but yeah, let's go. All right, I have no idea if I'm in a parking spot or if I'm gonna get towed, who knows? But there's other cars around me, so I feel like that's okay. I'm also like three blocks away, so I don't know how to drop a pin. So I'm gonna like take a picture of one of these houses and hope for the best. I am on a damp walk, but like, look at these houses. Good morning, so. First time at Cycle Bar in over a week, so naturally I look absolutely disgusting. Numbers weren't so great, but that's to be expected. So the comedy show last night was really good. Really nice theater, I had a good seat. All was well. So today we have a jam-packed day. I could never enjoy a weekend. I spent all day in bed yesterday. Actually, yes, I can. So um, my mom's a nurse, and as part of their fundraising kind of activities, um, she's a baby and kid nurse. The unit rented out a children's day camp and we did this last year um, and it was a really fun day. However, last year was like the week my crown fell off. So I was just like living in fear and paranoia. Um, and everyone last year was like, the food is so good and I didn't get to enjoy it. So today I am pigging out on the food at the camp. Um, also last year, I had a zip line and I chickened out. I've done zip lines in the past and they're really fun. But I was like, this is just tied to two trees. Like at least when you do one at a zip lining facility, there's like metal poles involved. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna do it this year because if I was scared last year, I am fatter than ever this year. I do not need to break a tree. I don't care about dying. It's the embarrassment of taking a tree down with you. So I won't be zip lining this year. I need to shower. I need to put all my laundry away. So this is all laundry. This laundry basket is gonna be crafted for my costume. This box is holding all the crafting supplies and my rain jacket. I still need a yellow rain hat, but yeah, I gotta put this away and take out my garbage. Ugh. Okay, yeah, 
all of this needs to happen and I got a shower. Hi, hey, thank you girl. morning so today I have a 7 30 a.m workout 7 20 I'm drinking my first celsius in about a year I actually really like these and they do give me a good workout but I also don't want to become dependent on these and I have no idea what's in this I do not need like kidney stones or whatever also I have to hide these in my house because they do resemble um you know like an alcoholic seltzer so I don't need my dad stealing one of these trying to get a fix and then his heart exploding so <laughs> I have to hide these. I only bought two at the store last week, so it should get me through this week. I do have a jam-packed cycle bar schedule this week, so it's like today, um, Wednesday is Ariel's last ride, and it's in the middle of my work day, so I'm gonna like finagle things around. Thursday, 7.30 again, someone's looking right at me. Oh God, oh God. Yeah. Um, Thursday's Lindsay's birthday ride. I'm Friday, maybe, Saturday, definitely. Sunday, definitely, like, I'm packing it all in, trying to lose a little bloat before camp. Meanwhile, I'm drinking whatever this is, but I'm trying to just get a little jawline before I go. <laughs> all right, guys, I am dying, but I did get second in my ride. I forgot to look at my output, but second. I knew I was kicking ass. I think it's a mix of a few things, maybe the Celsius. I'll give them some points. And then today I rode with Ryan and I always have a good ride with Ryan. And I also switched up my bike. I'm always on the left side of class, either a bike nine or 10. Today I was on the right side on three. And also I usually get really good numbers on three. So a perfect storm of things. I got second in the ride. I'm obviously feeling it. You can like see it that I worked out. Cause sometimes I leave and I'm like, la la la. And I look like normal, but like I am very much a little pig right now. So feeling really good. Every time I ride on a Monday, I'm like, I should do this every Monday. What a great way to start your week. And then I like lay in bed for a month. So who knows? Well, next Monday is Memorial Day. So I probably won't come next Monday, but like, you know what I mean? Like get your week started on a good foot, even if it's going for a walk, do something. So typically when I do a crazy workout, I'd be like, yes, reward myself with a bagel, but not today. So I have a bunch of watermelon that I totally forgot I had. So Watermelon and cottage cheese. Weird combo, but it works. So that's what I have today. Let me try and film with my right hand and do this with my left. But, okay, yeah, this is gonna look gross, but it's actually good. Oh, I am outside my second job's office. This is my first time here since April 14th. I was that burnt out. I haven't even been hungry for money, so. I'm here, it's after tax season, so nothing crazy. Probably just a little like data entry for like a hairdresser client, like something easy. But I figured I'd get some time in um, because I'm gonna be gone for so long. I'm like, let me get some hours in before I leave. I did just leave Ariel's last spin class. It's been a 25 minute drive back here and I am still soaking wet and pink. So I knew from like the first song, I was like, oh, this is gonna be one of those classes. Um, I think just the energy in the room, it was so hype. Uh, most of the instructors came. Um, so I was like at a 10 the whole time. Um, totally unexpected. I got a shout out in one of the songs. And I was like, Shannon, do you know what today is? And I'm like racking my brain. I'm like, did something happen with the Jonas Brothers, Justin Bieber? Like, should I know what today is? And it was my 550th ride. So the class went nuts. I literally, I hope someone took a picture. I literally was like, for like 30 seconds, like, <laughs> because I was so surprised and kind of put on the spot, but a very nice little celebration during class. And I don't get to ride with Ariel that much. So it was a nice little like capped the end of our teacher rider relationship that like, I got a nice little shout out on her last ride. Very emotional. She cried at the end. I got a little weepy a few times, um, but I think she went out on top. Oh my God, I didn't even mention. So Tina Turner died today um, and Ariel had Simply the Best in her playlist anyway. She's like, this is just a weird coincidence. And she turned off her mic during the chorus and made us all scream sing. And really, I cannot top that. That was amazing. And I feel like that was just so cathartic for everyone. And I'm like tearing up thinking about it, like an amazing moment. So again, going out on top, scream singing Tina Turner. It doesn't get better than that. Okay, this does not look appetizing, but this is the Rachel Kirkconnell TikTok salad. So it is 
the Persian cucumbers or mini cucumbers, um, little peppers, and then I added chicken, and then it's the Kyoto ginger dressing, chili onion crunch, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Good morning. So naturally I decided to pick up my camera on a busy road and with the sun directly in my eyes. Um, but I'm about to go get my hair done. So take a look. It's actually not that bad. I just got this done six weeks ago, but because I'm going to be gone for so long, I was like, let's get a fresh like summer color. And then I probably won't be back till September. It is metered parking in this town though. And every time I get my hair done, we are running out. I have like foils in my hair, putting quarters in the machine. So I parked at my aunt's house and I'm walking. So maybe this will be a better deal for me. Um, tonight I did win a Broadway lottery. I'm seeing Life of Pi. I never saw the movie, so I'm going in kind of blind, but should be a fun city night. I'll have my hair done. Probably just gonna do the same thing of getting cookies and tacos, but like, at least I have a routine. Okay, really quick before a semi truck passes me, but finished product, it looks so good. Definitely in my Barbie era. Okay, everyone, I'm having an Elle Woods perfect day. I just got Rita's Italian ice, Swedish fish with vanilla custard. Custard sounds like a bodily fluid, but I'm gonna get through it. I have about 10 minutes to shove this down my throat and I think I could do it in five. And then I'm getting on the train and we're going to the city. This may circumvent a city snack, but it probably won't. Okay, I'm in here a full hour earlier than I expected, so I'm gonna get a cookie. I have never seen smackeries that busy. But I did walk out with two. They were kind of selling out. Like I wanted cinnamon toast crunch, didn't have it. So I have a funfetti and a cookies and cream. I will definitely plow these down before I even get back to the theater. But I'd rather do that than have them sit in my purse and me think about it all night. So I will be shoving these down my throat. Okay, I'm in the third row. I know there's projections on the stage of the water, so I might not be able to see that, but like I'll see everything else really close. That was so good. I do wish I saw it from the balcony and saw the projections and how the boat rose from the stage. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I didn't know the story. I didn't read the book, never saw the movie. So good. I don't think I could see the movie though. Movies with the animals upset me, so I probably will never watch it, but highly recommend the show. So I have a half an hour till my train leaves and I have that feeling of I'm not hungry, but I could eat. Most things are closing. Um, so I probably won't eat anything, but like, I could. Everyone in this entire city is just wet coughing freely. So if I get the plague in three days, this is why. Um, also, it's Fleet Week and I haven't seen a single cutie. Then again, they're probably looking at me and absolutely dry heaving, so fair. All right, guys, coming at you looking like a founding father, sounding like one as well. So I'm in an absolute huff, packing for June's festivities. You never know where I'm gonna end up. But I did get something fun in the mail actually a while ago, but I just haven't had the time to show you. So, um, if you can see in the background, I have two rose bouquets from Rose Forever. And I think the last time I showed you my dome of pink, I was like, ooh, a dome of red would look really nice. Well, I got one. Like, look how beautiful this is. It really pops with the white and the red, the contrast, so amazing. Um, as you know, I will be living out of a suitcase for the next eight weeks so I won't be home to tend to flowers so it's nice that these stay alive on their own for definitely over a year I was I always say I have bouquets from like three years ago they're still kicking um, nothing is whittled away like they still look very much brand new so I love that I can leave these on my desk today and know that they'll be back here in August still looking exactly like this. And I know that we know that I love pink, but I have my pink roses and I just feel like the red is such a classic look. They do have pretty much every color you can think of. I know in October I want 
an orange bouquet, but I feel like the red and the white is just so classic, so I went for the red this time. And you know me, of course I have a discount code for you, so use Shannon M20 for $20 off your bouquet. And these are well worth the investment. I got some for my mom. My mom, what is the opposite of a green thumb? She can kill a fake plant, but I got these for my mom. They are still alive in the living room. Like, you cannot go wrong with these. So I think they make a great graduation present, anniversary present, birthday, literally any occasion. So again, I do have a discount code. I'll leave that down below, but Look how pretty these are. And now I know I don't have to worry about these while I'm gone all summer. Good morning. There are three days until camp and I'm constructing my craft project of a costume now. So it's supposed to be a bathtub. So I'm using a hamper and I measured my waist and I was like grossed out to find that this is the circumference of my waist, this bigger part. Um, this is very malleable though. So I'm hoping it will move with me. <laughs> Because um, if I cut this hamper up and it doesn't fit me, I will... Uh, um, so yeah, I don't know how I'm going to cut through this plastic though. I was thinking about getting some power tools out. Um, but I figured I'd first try with these murder weapons. Maybe like pierce it with this one first. And then really carve it out with this one. I don't know if I'm even going to get through it, but we'll try it. Also I need to figure out where it's going to sit on me. Ideally a little higher so it's like here and not like here. I just want like the boobs and up to be visible because that's what's visible when Keenan does it. Okay. Let me just gauge where it is on this side. And let's take a stab at it. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that was like cake. Oh, okay. And this is just a kitchen knife. I'm basically cutting it in half and hoping I have a little more leeway. Okay. The sides may be a little harder, but. Okay. Oh, that was very easy, actually. I don't want to slip and cut my thumb off. Moment of truth. I did do it a little bit um, smaller than my real hole, LOL. Um, moment of truth. Will I fit in this hole? Probably not. Definitely not. Okay, let's try it anyways. Ah, <laughs> sharp edges. It's got to get around my thighs. That's the thing. Okay, we'll make it a little bigger. I always think I have a small ass until I have to do this. I think with a good heave, I'm in. I am in. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I also have to be wearing a raincoat when I'm doing this. So maybe like another inch will do. But this is, this is pretty good. <laughs> I better win best costume. I don't even know if they do awards, but I better win. How am I gonna get out of here? Okay, looking crazy, less than 24 hours to camp. I needed to find my petticoat. So I'm gonna retry on my pirate costumes with the petticoat for a little extra volume and length because we all know Halloween costumes love to show your straight up butthole. Um, I originally thought this was in the costume closet. It was not, it was buried. So behind these clothes, there's like a toy chest under that so I had to go diving so that's why I look insane actually I look insane all the time um but I found this found a bunch of liquid IVs so I definitely need those for camp so like I think I, I got what I needed from this room here we have the beginnings or the middle I guess of the Pierre Escargot background I did sketch out an Eiffel Tower in pencil and I cannot see the pencil marks anymore so I'm gonna have to do it again I liked what I did pencil wise it's pretty much just gonna be that um, but I'm just going to go over it again with a black marker, maybe some black paint. Um, and then I have to secure, I kind of measured it out. So my head is going to be like here. I thought it was big, but, um, apparently I'm bigger. <laughs> so my head will be here and then it's going to be pretty high up on my shoulders, but we're going to find a way to attach it to my body. Um, I do have about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to go to Michael's and the craft store, get some extra things for Pierre Escargot. It is wild how much money I'm spending on something I'm gonna wear for like a couple hours. That is me, and yet I'm too cheap to like see a doctor. And I'm almost positive after spending $80 at Michael's last time, they gave me a 50% off coupon. I'm gonna double check it, watch it expire yesterday. That is my luck. Um, but if it works out, that's really nice. And 
Michael's is on the highway and so is Popeye's. So I think I'm gonna treat myself to a chicken sandwich. Found my Michael's receipt. I look so bad. I found my Michael's receipt. 20% off your entire purchase. Valid May 14th to May 20th. It's the 31st. Guys, my intuition, whatever, is crazy. So today is camp day. And a few months ago, when my friend told me they were signing up, I was like, wouldn't it suck if they didn't go? Like I paid all this money and they didn't go. And then all week this week, I'm like, someone's gonna get like positive for COVID. Something's gonna happen. They're not gonna go. And I'm gonna have to like fend for myself, which I'm always afraid of. Like, I love camp, but you, you need a buddy. I've done it alone and it sucked. You need a buddy. Um, literally this morning, I'm putting my clothes into the washer. I'm like, I'm going to get a text any minute now saying they're not coming. I go for a walk and in my head again, I'm like, I'm going to come back to a text saying they're not coming. Literally just open my phone. One of them is not coming. She's sick, but Ryan is still going. So thank God I have Ryan, but I'm like, I knew it. I knew it from three months ago that something like this was going to happen. But as long as I have one person... I just get cafeteria anxiety. As long as I have one person to eat with, I'll be okay. But like, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. Why don't I get these feelings about winning a million dollars? Boom. Thank you. When there's no other daddies around at sea. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> you need to Sometimes you're at sea and you do what you have to to survive. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a video. Right, uh, Ryan, give me a one-liner. You've been fire. chatting all night. <laughs> I've been talking in pirates all day long and you're just taking a video now, Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think we're caught up to speed, left camp, had a blast. And literally I went with people I met at other camps. So essentially went by myself, but you meet up with people you've met in the past. Um, I am going again on Labor Day with my sister and her boyfriend and Labor Day is really like the family reunion. So we're gonna get a lot of the regulars um, and a few returners. So it's always a good time. And then you meet more people. Honestly, the best part of camp is the people and the live band and the water slide, it's all good. Um, but very happy with my performance this year. Um, the costume came together. There was, um, when it was finally time to put it on, I left everyone at dinner because I didn't want to wear the tub to dinner. Um, and I probably should have brought like Ryan or Tasha back with me to help me put it on. Um, also, I was so bloated. Like the thing fit me at home when I did try on, even with the slicker, I was so bloated at camp. It was, <laughs> tight um because i was like how is it holding up i'm like it's resting on my fat that's how it's being held up um but i put the slicker on and then i stepped into the tub and the slicker came with it so trying to like pull that through the hole and you're sweating and you're nervous it was i wanted to just lie down and die um but i got to the green and everyone was like what honestly maybe four people knew who i was but those four people really appreciated it so i feel good with my decision um i literally went to the people who work in camp no counselors i was like just give me the crown now so i could take this off um so essentially i put a knife to their throat but i did win best dressed um there was a point where he was you know giving the speech and he's like this person is blah 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 and i wish i knew what he said <laughs> but in my head i was like oh i'm obviously gonna win so i was going like me like playing it up but then for like a hot second I'm like what if it's not me and I'm being like about it <laughs> but then it was me so um this is my seventh camp I've wanted a crown it's like it's like a silly paper crown but it's an award I've wanted a crown since my first one Courtney won one two years ago 
me and Courtney were gunning for like cutest couple, aka cutest sisters or cutest friends um, in 2020. We didn't win and we're still mad about it, but I finally got my crown. So I don't have to try ever again. Um, people are like, what are you gonna do for Labor Day? And like one, the themes aren't out, but two, like I don't think I'll have to go as hard. I got what I wanted. I got my crown, I got my mean girls moment. Um, luckily it barely fit my giant head, but like it happened. <laughs> but yeah, I love camp seeing returners, strengthening relationships, meeting new people. I met great Canadian girls. Um, so sometimes being not alone, because I came with with people, but like not having a human security blanket. Like if Courtney was there, I would just hang out with Courtney the whole time. But like, I truly went off my own. Like even my cabin mates were like, oh, we're gonna go kayaking. And I went to play kickball. So I met the bachelorette party. So like doing things on my own, stepping out of my comfort zone, it always works out. And I need to tell myself that now in San Diego when I'm kind of like afraid to talk to people. Um, but like step outside your comfort zone, it'll always work out. So I literally got back from camp. I had tickets to see a podcast live taping. It was for good children, um, check them out. But um, a family friend had died that Thursday. I came back on Sunday and I was like, oh, I have time to go to the funeral. And I was gonna leave from there. But once you're there, you're like, I'm gonna stay and go to the repass, you know, so. I ended up not going to the podcast live taping. In my head, I can always go again. And did I wanna rush into the city after like a full party weekend and like emotionally expensing myself at a funeral? I don't think I wanted to add commuting to the city into that, so I think I made the right decision. Anyways, after that, went to Joey's for three days to watch his daughter with him. Um, that's where the live stream happened. So if you want to watch that, again, it's there. The music is loud. Oh, I've said it before. Yeah, maybe I'm partially gay, but I'll still dip my nuts in your ass. I got acne on my ass, but I still wear short shorts. I gotta make my hoe stare at my horse cock till the clock stops. It's like TikTok cash is back. I bet you cash it would slap my sack. Then uh, Thursday I saw Prima Facey, Prima Facey on Broadway with Jodie Comer, A+. It is like, she won the Tony like two days afterwards and it's been crazy sold out, like $500 tickets. So happy I got it in right before the Tonys. Thank you so much. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, went to Philly with Keith, Danielle, and Laura, girls trip to see Shania Twain. So we had a blast. If I have any clips, I'll throw them in here. We in the cut. We got <laughs> slow. We whatever, doing things whatever, that the girls don't do. Four five, that don't impress me much. <laughs> but like, sometimes it's nice to live off camera. Maybe catch a few funny moments, but like, um, put the camera down. You don't need to vlog your honeymoon, if, <laughs> if you know what I mean, and who I'm digging at. And then got home Sunday, exchanged keys with my brother, and left Monday. I did miss my sister's 30th birthday. And knowing what I know now, I kind of regret it. But I'm here now, you can't change the past. Let's party. Um, so I guess we'll stop here. Then I'll start with San Diego vlogs. Um, again, trying to get out of my comfort zone, do things be social. I don't know. I don't know. Life is crazy. So yeah, I'm in San Diego now. Had to take this opportunity while it was available to me. This gives me time to research neighborhoods. Um, I was on a walk yesterday and a one bedroom was $2,400. So I will at 34 years old need a roommate. Don't we love that? Um, <laughs> so it gives me time to like also like meet people in person, roommate wise, you know, all of that. God, every, like when I think about this, I'm like, I should have just married the first person who ever talked to me. Then I wouldn't have to deal with this stuff. Um, but here I am. So we're figuring it out. So yeah, San Diego vlog's coming. As we know, I'm very lazy. So who knows when I'll put them up, but like I am filming. So again, thank you so much for being here and putting up with that long pause. I just need to get my brain back in order. It's like halfway there, but like, it's coming back. So again, thank you for putting up with me and still mildly caring.